Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to download Windows 8.1 using the Rufus utility and create a bootable USB drive for free. Let's get started. To create a bootable USB, you will need a minimum of 8GB USB flash drive. First, you need to download Rufus for free from their official website, rufus.ie. Once you are there, scroll down and search for the latest version of Rufus Utility. Now I am downloading Rufus 4.5. You will find the link in the description. By double-clicking, open the Rufus. If you do not see the arrow beside the Select button, then you need to go down and click to open Application Settings. Here, you need to configure a few settings. First, enable Check for Updates and select Daily Updates. Then change include beta versions to yes. Finally click on check now. It will take some time to check the updates. Now close the update options window and close the Rufus application. Now you need to reopen the application. This time right click on the app and select run as an administrator. When you reopen the Rufus, you will find an arrow option beside select. Click on the arrow and select Download option from drop-down list. Click on it. Rufus application will download the script. After that, you will see options to download ISO images, Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, and UEFI shell. Now select the operating system according to your requirements. Here I am selecting Windows 8.1 operating system and click Continue. You will see the latest release. Select it and click Continue. After that, you will see different editions of Windows 8.1. I am selecting Windows 8.1 Standard Edition and click Continue. Next, you will see the language options. Choose your required language. I am selecting English United States and clicking Continue. And finally, you need to select Architecture. If you wish to download 32-bit, then select 86-bit. I am selecting 64-bit. If you wish to download through a web browser, then check the box. I am downloading through Rufus, so I hit the download button. A new window will pop up where you need to select the location to save the Windows 8.1 ISO image file. After saving the file, Rufus will automatically start downloading Windows 8.1. Now it is time to sit back and relax as it will take 15 minutes to half an hour depending upon your computer speed. Once the Windows ISO image file is downloaded, insert the USB drive and select the Windows 8.1 ISO image file you recently downloaded. Rufus will automatically populate some fields based on the ISO image and system information. You may want to customize a few settings. Under the partition scheme, Select GPT if your system uses UFI or MBR if you have a BIOS system. If you need to know which partition system your computer is running, here is the way you can quickly determine the partition system by going to the Start menu, right-click on it, and from the list, select Disk Management. This will open the Disk Management window. Here selects your primary disk 0, which is usually your installation disk, right-click on it and go to Properties. After that, Select Volumes tab and it will tell you what partition style running on your computer, whether it be MBR or GPT. You can see mine is GPT. As you know, modern computers typically use GPT. After setting these configurations, you can optionally change the volume label if you wish. I am labeling it Windows 8.1. System will choose FAT32 for Windows 8.1. You can leave the cluster size as default. Remember, these settings might vary depending on your system configuration. Double check everything to ensure all settings are correct before proceeding. After that, click Start to begin creating the bootable USB drive. A new window will appear where Rufus will warn you all data on the USB will be destroyed. If you don't have essential data on it, then click OK to proceed. Now Rufus will start copying the data and create the bootable USB for you. The time it will take to create the bootable USB drive depends on your system's speed and the size of the ISO file. 
Once it's done, you'll see a ready status on Rufus. Now you've successfully created a Windows 8.1 bootable USB drive by using Rufus. You can use this USB to install or upgrade to Windows 8.1 on your system. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. I hope this guide was helpful to you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials.